So as you heard, that was the big deal. Rex wants a cure for the genophage? Are you kidding me? In any case, now we get to pick our crew. Because we are going to go get ourselves some females. Uh, we'll go ahead. Actually, we'll kind of do an old Mass Effect 1 thing. And we're actually going to bring in the old crew. So yeah, it's definitely a very interesting thing that they actually want a cure for the genophage. We'll see how that turns out. Oh, I guess I don't... Hmm. I thought I had more stuff. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, extra ammo for now until I get the scope. And I really don't care about the rest of these guys, so yeah. Alright, actually, we'll go ahead and do this real quick for no reason. There we go. Great. And yep. Five points, huh? Well, I guess I'll put it into fitness. Uh, melee, nah, health and shield is usually more of my forte. And yeah, I think that's it for them. Let's see anyone else. Oh, she still has four points, but... And I'll put, start putting them into stasis. Because I found stasis, at least when I was playing as Fem Shep, pretty useful. In all honesty. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander. I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable for Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist you remain under guard. <sighs> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Alright, so yeah, so this is of course the big deal now is that uh, we're trying to get a cure for the genophage and we're trying to recover the females because uh, if you remember from Mass Effect 2, Malin did some pretty horrendous experiments. However, I believe, I think this pretty much this mission would pretty much be practically scrapped if we didn't save the data 
which is what we did in the last game. Actually, wait a minute. Please don't touch that. Nah. Wait. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Nah. Funny. <laughs> in any case, so yeah, so that was uh, just wanted to make a quick little footnote this about is that. Where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Solarians usually don't write poetry, but anyway, whatever. Let's talk to Rex. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. Back on the Normandy, he said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. What a horrible way to live. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> Just wait till this war is over. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. I was always told that uh, Rex's dialogue is always one of entertainment, and that is definitely true. Let us talk to this guy. Commander Shepard, I'm Lieutenant Tolan. I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope. Your mission on Vermeer holds special renown in STG. The assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. But now, I'm not so sure. It sounds like you don't agree with what I'm doing here. You're upsetting a balance of power that stood for a thousand years. And if you succeed, we're ill-prepared to face a resurgent Krogan. The Krogan aren't the problem anymore. The Reapers are. For now. But once the Reapers are dealt with, history will repeat. Security seems high. Are you expecting trouble? You've revealed the existence of Krogan who are immune to the Genophage, Commander. Word will get out. We're now a prime target. This is the only way to get the Krogan and Turians to cooperate. And us? Will we pay for your political expediency? Did you really think the Krogan wouldn't find out? If there wasn't a traitor within our ranks, they wouldn't have. Somebody leaked the intel. What do you think about the experiments on the Krogan females? I was part of the team that found them on Tachanka. I wanted them eliminated, but our scientists insisted we bring them back for study. I don't need science to tell me fertile Krogan will be dangerous. I hope we don't pay for misguided mercy. I'm surprised you even know that word. The Krogan don't. When have they ever shown mercy? What did you hear about Vermeer? 
You helped Captain Kirahe's squad destroy Saren's cure for the genophage. Which is ironic, considering you've come here to safeguard another cure. I wonder if Kirahe's men died in vain. Saren was raising an army of Krogan slaves to fight his war. This is different. Is it? Seems to me that's the same thing the Turians want. Except the part about the slaves, and the indoctrination, and destroying the galaxy. Are the Solarians ready to fight the Reapers? Best way to win a fight is to avoid it altogether. But now, this business with the Krogan... You may have drawn us into it. It's going to happen sooner or later. We'll see. Good day, Lieutenant. I hope you can keep it that way, Commander. So as you can see, this Lieutenant Tolan not too excited about uh, getting that. Uh, oops. Right. Anyway, yeah. So Tolan not happy about this. Not with everything else going on. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. So, Paddock Wicks actually uh, supports all this. And at the same time, as you may have heard before I talked to him, there was a bit of possible foreshadowing. I was starting to forget what peace sounds like. You'd never know that a war for the whole galaxy is happening right now. The Solarians can't stay out of it forever. Though seeing this, I can't really blame them for trying. So uh, that's what's nice about having both uh, Garrus and Liara. You have uh, special dialogue and whatnot. Anyway, let's head on down to the uh, bottom basement. Go get ourselves some female Krogan. Now take this elevator down, and someone will... Alert. Threat condition 2 has been declared. Scramble readiness teams. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. 